Welcome to another RD Works Learning Lab. All I can say today is, if you blink, you will probably miss this session. So don't go off and make coffee as you normally do. Start off with one. Now when we cut wood, MDF, leather, we always get some charring in the cuts. And the question has been raised many times, what happens if I use an inert gas? Well, one thing you have to remember is that what we're breathing is about 80% inert anyway, nitrogen. There's 20% roughly oxygen in the atmosphere. And that's the bit that probably is causing the charring, the oxidation element when it combines with carbon and various other elements that are in the wood. So today I've borrowed a cylinder of argon, a very, very inert gas that's used for welding. Now obviously my mate can't do any welding without this, so I've got to do my tests fairly quickly. Well here I've got some 10mm poplar plywood, and this is what I've been using for many of my tests because it's a nice soft but thick wood. Now I've got a two and a half inch lens in here, bearing in mind I've only got mm, 55, 60 watts available to me on this machine. So although I might be able to run this at 10, maybe 11 millimetres a second, um, I'm comfortably going to cut this at 8 millimetres a second. Now we're seeing it's cutting through nicely because look at all the smoke that's coming out underneath. And there we go, we've got a nice clean cut. Now it looks a little bit brown. I have cut cleaner than that, but on the other hand, we don't appear to have any serious charring on the surface. We'll just take the air off, tuck that out of the way, and we'll put the argon on. And we'll put about roughly the same as we have air assist, 4 psi. And off we go again. Well, surprisingly, it's still cutting. You would think that without the uh, oxygen in the atmosphere, you may actually get a poor cut. Well, let's just take a quick look at the difference. This was the one that was cut with ordinary free air. And this is the one that was cut with the rather expensive argon assist gas. Can you see a difference? When I look at this in the real world, with all sorts of lighting angles on it, I see no difference at all. Why would I spend a lot of money on an assist gas when I can do it for free? So the only surprise in this exercise has been the rate at which this one cut. Because I was expecting that the exclusion of oxygen here would have affected the cut rate. And in fact I was half expecting it to probably do very little cutting at all. But in reality, it had no effect on the cutting speed. And I only have to assume that that's because within the uh, cellular structure of the wood, we've got lots of oxygen stored anyway. And it's the oxygen at the cutting interface that's important. The exclusion of oxygen after the cut, which is what we're basically doing with the cover gas, would only reduce the charring. But hey, we've got the cut set at a good speed and a good power, and we're getting no charring anyway. So hopefully this will now end the arguments about using an expensive assist gas to do cutting of organic materials. It seems to make no difference at all. Well, thanks for your time. I hope you didn't blink, and I'll catch you in the next session.